ScienceWise is aiming to help policymakers to use good quality dialogue with the public when trying to make decisions around issues to do with science and technology. So it's trying to build the capacity of policymakers so that they understand when it's useful to do dialogue, how to commission it, and how to feed the results into their policy making so that they can make wiser choices. The whole point of ScienceWise is to help the UK government, whatever department or agency it might be, in using really good practice when doing dialogue with the public around issues to do with science and technology. So the idea is to help policymakers identify when it's worth doing dialogue, how to commission it well, and how to use it to inform their choices. And you know, the point is to get public hopes and concerns around science to help the government make longer term decisions about issues to do with science and technology. The point of ScienceWise and the Expert Resource Centre is to help the government learn how to do public dialogue really well, how to capture good practice about what's already gone on and how to make sure that when making policies in the future we can really use the best wisdom of the public, you know, people's hopes, their concerns, their ideas, so that we can harness science and technology, regulate it properly, um, but make choices that people have confidence in that will be better in the long term for society and the planet. I think the key things about doing dialogue well and what we mean by public dialogue, good practice in public dialogue, is to make sure that policy makers want to know that there is a decision that, that is being informed at a point in time when it can make a difference to them, that's one thing. Another key thing is for there to be time for the public to become really informed about an issue, so deliberative. People have the chance to speak to scientists and hear other perspectives, hear from you know, journalists, from ethicists, from many different points of view, and have time to consider issues, debate them, discuss them, sleep on them, change their minds. So they really have the chance to become informed. That matters if we want people to make you know, wise comments that are gonna be useful for policy makers. And so this element of making sure that scientists are involved as well, as well as other perspectives is absolutely key. We want people to get to meet scientists, question them, and scientists to consider their own ethics as well as considering other kinds of expertises. The impact of good public dialogue, well, there might be a policy that's changed, and that has happened in some cases. The policymakers who get involved say that it's helped to widen their thinking about issues. The public who get involved say, oh, that they have been empowered, that they've really learned a lot about this issue, and they're really pleased that policymakers have asked what they think. Um, and then finally, the scientists who are involved, they often tell us that the way they approach their subject has been changed, that they've met people and heard perspectives that they haven't heard before, and that that's you know, just a valuable thing for them when they're doing their research, to have seen their own subject from a different point of view. Another key thing about doing dialogue well is to make sure that the people who are involved know what's going to happen with the dialogue, that they get feedback about who's heard what they've said and how that's influenced things. Now, policymakers still make the decisions, so it's not as though what the public says then automatically changes policy, but there must at least be clear feedback that this is what's been said and here's our response. We've thought about what you've said and here's our response. <laughs>